Hello, people. Hello, people of the internet. Welcome back to another episode of Patrick's Story View. And today we'll be doing the a collection of Scooby-Doo playable toys. Also, do you like the uh, the stand I created? We actually, uh, we actually recently got this. A little, a little heads up. There's been some news recently. I got a you new know, Scooby-Doo toys for Halloween this year, and if you remember. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but this, but yesterday was the release of a movie called Straight Out of Nowhere, Scooby-Doo Meets Cursed Scary Dog. I don't know if I will do a review or not, but today I thought we recreate some of these sets. Now, we'll be going, actually, there's actually more sets right over here. We're going to be taking a look at all these two. Yeah, so I thought I brought these sets back. If you want, you can check out my rest of the videos when I unbox them. I go one by one, but today we're just doing do like a quick little recap of what play sets I have so far, and and next year maybe for the 50th anniversary I can recreate the sets again, but with the van, with uh, the blind bag characters. Also, we also you also get a see I don't remember I know you guys collect it or not, but Scooby Doo Series Two blind bags. We actually have one of the characters. One, I'm showing one of my favorite character in series two. Also, we did manage to get this playable guy. Well, uh, we got a toy catalog with the blind bags. Yeah, so we'll next year I'll probably do the mystery machine as well as the Shaggy Scooby set. So let's start off with let's go by order then. Let's first start off with with the first set, which is the Series 1 Blind Bag character. And right here he is. Okay, right here he is. We have the uh, Spooky Space Kook. Yeah, so this is the series. This is actually my favorite. This is actually my Series 1 character. Yeah, so that's his uh, ghost card. He has the same spooky space scoop. And you could take the helmet off. So that's the guy underneath. Yeah, you can actually get these blind bags on the official store. We also have... I don't remember. Here's the sticker of spooky space scoop. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so here's actually, if I know you guys remember, here's the checklist of Series 1. You should watch the video when I do Series 1. Yeah, so that's the, the coolest part is about this figure, a spooky space kook. That, it, that the helmet glows in the dark. Okay. Now, that's the next, now on to the next set. The next set I'll have here is the... Scooby-Doo Avengers with the Mystery Mansion. The $100 set. Let's take a look at the characters. First off, we have Fred. We have Fred here. We have... We have Dracula. By the way, his head reveals Big Bob Oakley. We also have Daphne, and we have, we have Daphne, and we have Scooby-Doo as Sherlock, Sherlock Scooby. Yeah, so we actually have a lot of features here. Starting off, we have a coffin with glowing for ghost cards. And we also have two other ghost cards in here. We have for the mansion. And that's a sound machine. Also, it's a sound machine. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, so... If you remembered... The way this stuff works... You basically... We're gonna show you... We're gonna show you all the features. For, st for the first feature we have... That we actually have a slideable staircase. 
which goes 360. You also have a trap door with a bear rug and some money in it. And and surprisingly, we have a trap door. Yeah, so that's also we also have a dropping chandelier. Yeah, so I just want so you can have put the drop on Dracula. Yeah, so there. Now the next set we'll be going on to is the Scooby Doo's Adventures with the Cemetery set, which I did manage to recreate. You do not want to see the new character though. So right here is the next set. We have the Scooby Doo Adventures in the Cemetery set. So the characters we have here, we have we have Fred. We have another Scooby holding a shovel. And we have Daphne. And the villain we have is the ghost girl, aka Alice May. Yeah, so this is so this set is pretty cool. Yeah, it has um it has a lot of features. For example, that if you tilt the gargoyle over, slots will drop. And the coffin here and this little trap door here. You can press on it and it opens a skeleton. By the way, the skeleton does glow in the dark. Now, well, let's see what other sets we have here. Sorry, just I'm trying. Sorry, I'm trying to get the. I'm using the instruction book for a. Yeah, so the, the next set we have is the Scooby Doo's Dinner with Shaggy set, which I did manage to recreate, which is right here. We actually have a. We actually have a Scooby with a hot dog. And we have Shaggy here. Yeah, so those are the. T we also have the dining room set over there. We have a car back here. We also have a lot of food. So. So that is that. By the way, if you want to know how much the sets cost, that set costs a hundred hundred dollars. The the blind bags of series two, the one with Space Cook, he is a series. He cost four dollars, and I said I think it cost fifteen dollars for the dinner with Shaggy said, and I think the mansion costs fifty. I think the mansion costs the cemetery set costs fifty. So the next set we have here is the one I also recreated. It's in it's very back here. We actually have the Scooby Doo Adventures with the Wild West. It contains the Wild West version of Shaggy and Scoop. And we have the ghost of Dapper Jack Rogers. By the way, he does glow in the dark, so. Yeah, so we also have uh, Scooby here. If you're asking, he does a. Uh... If you're asking, where's his yellow dog tag? Well, when I was finding stuff in the attic, I was trying to find them in the attic, I didn't see. You see, I cleared up my room that I, I put all my figures in, as well as my play sets in the attic, so. He may have lost his SD collar, but we did manage to pick it up. Yeah, so here's the, here's the Wild West versions of Shaggy and Scooby. Yeah, so here is Shaggy. He's holding the Dapper Jack Ghost card. I think the set. Uh, if you... Yeah, so that is the well, it's version of Shaggy. Well, Shaggy just dropped. Let's just drop Shaggy. Yeah, so the next set we have is the one I made. Is the Scooby Doo Adventures with Egypt? Lucky for you. Like for you, that 
draw. Sorry, I'm trying to pick up a character here. Yeah, so here's the next character. We have the, uh, we have the Scooby Doo Avengers in the in Egypt. We actually have we, if you remember, I kind of, this was probably be my first video though, if you recall. But I didn't make a remaster though. Yeah, so it actually comes with a, it comes with Pharaoh Shaggy. We actually have Pharaoh Scooby. And we have the Ghost of Cleopatra. And we have the Mummy. By the way, both these mummies here, you can actually spin the head. That is Dalma Dinkley, and that is Pr Pr Prince Omar. You also kept some accessories around here. We also have we have our accessories here. But that's all the characters. And the play feature on the back of the mansion. That these doors open up. Here, let me show you. Sorry I'm destroying my play case. I was going to show you. So if you press the buttons here. That these doors open up. Yeah, so these doors open up here. You can actually place the you can actually place the mummies in here. You can be able to put them in the crib. Yeah, so the next set we'll be doing is in the showcase we'll be doing the Scooby Doo Adventures with the Witch's Cauldron, which we added, which is over here past the new character. You can see him later. We'll move Spooky Space Kook as well as the sticker. Oh yeah, by the way, comment down below. What is your favorite character in Series 1? I would like to see here some of your answers. Yeah, so the Scooby-Doo Adventures in the Witch's Cauldron contains Velma, Scooby, and the Zeb Witch, a.k.a. the Ghost of Witch McCoy. And the play feature in this set that the fire... The fire, uh, press... Where's the button at? Sorry, I'm just trying to find the button here. There you go. Yeah, it's the fire coil. The fire turns on. You can see the light action. The you can see the action pod. Yeah, so the Zeb which the the ghost of which McCoy does have an unmaskable face. So there it is. Yeah, so the next set we'll be going over. And surprisingly, is the apparently also made to recreate all the June sets. So we're gonna take a look at that. So the first of our June sets, we're probably doing the playset first. Okay, sorry, just trying to think here. I think this one's first. Yeah, so let's do this one first. So we have Scooby-Doo Avengers with the Snow Ghost. If you actually look in the bio, it says, This ghost could be a mask. Shaggy and Scooby with a snowmobile. Yeah, so right here it is. We recreated the set here. So right here it is. We have the Scooby-Doo Avengers with the Snow Ghost. We have Scooby. We also have Shaggy. We have our Snow Ghost. He's actually on transparent skis. We also have the log, and we also have a bird, and apparently, we also, I don't know logs blocking in, but we actually have, we actually have a hamburger and a, and a hot dog. We also have jewels here, which they carry away in the log. Okay, the next set we'll be going over is is the Scooby-Doo Adventures with the Witch Doctor. So it would be Scooby-Doo Adventures with the Witch Doctor, which he's not... He's basically a typical short set. Yeah, so here it is. We have the Scooby-Doo Adventures with the Witch Doctor. 
the characters we have here, we have a Scooby-Doo in a hat. We have Scooby-Doo on a hat. We also have Thalma. We also have a witch doctor. We also have these little clam ears. We also have these little clam ears with these little pearls inside. By the way, the other clam does have pearls too. We also have a little bowl with pineapple and watermelon. And we also have a fire. By the way, the fire does not light up like the witch's cauldron. Yeah, so the next set we'll be going over is the Scooby Doo Avengers with the Ghost Diver or the Ghost of Captain Colored. Like you, that's next to here. Yeah, so the first characters we have here we have are we have Fred and a diving suit. We also have Scooby on a we also have Scooby holding a donut on a wave board. And we have our ghost of Captain Color. By the way, you can take off the mask and as and as a um you can take off the mask and reveal it's Captain Color himself. By the way, that's a spoiler alert. By the way, you can actually get the Witch Doctor, the Ghost of Captain Color, and the Snow Ghost. In the blind back series, if you want, you can collect the set to get these exclusive figures. By the way, the snake does glow in a... I think this is a snake here, but this is either a piece of seaweed or a snake. But this glows in the dark. We also have a crab. We also have a rock filled with gold and jewels like this last set. Okay, so... The next set we have... Is the Scooby-Doo Avengers with the Black Knight, which is in... Let me just move the ghost flat here. Yeah, so we have the Scooby-Doo Avengers with the Black Knight. We have Scooby with a with the Black Knight. We also have some paintings, some... And some art stuff, and some bones, and some sausage. Yeah, so the next set we'll be going over is the Scooby-Doo Avengers with the Ghost Clown. Which is right here. The, this ghost, the, so the Avengers with the Ghost Clown and the Black Knight all have two figures. Basically, it's Scooby with the villain. Yeah, so we have here, we have Scooby with balloons. And we have the Ghost Clown. By the way, you can, you actually, you can pick up the Ghost Clown in the Series 1 blind bags. He actually has a different accessory. His original accessory was a balloon with a terrible face. Yeah, so he does a mask to be Harry the Hypnotist. So the next set we'll have is these collectible Scooby-Doo figures. Yeah, we recently just got a... We actually do have the whole set, but we only do... for But for the showcase, we only did one of them. Well, I don't consider being a favorite, but the character I made was was Samurai Scooby, the 16th set. He actually actually has two accessories, which has a base and a sword and a hat. A hat. Well, actually, the hat is pretty cool because well, since the since some of the new characters since this year's wave. Well, has these cool samurai like outfits. Right here is what the sticker looks like. Yeah, so the new stickers actually have the characters hold their accessories. Yeah, so these are what the accessories have for Samurai Scooby. We didn't have him hold the donut. Also we have his sword. Yeah, so that is actually Yeah, so that is actually a ser yeah, so the next final object here is the sneak peek. But we actually have, if you ever wait for talk this about it, but that is the new thing this year. We have we got a second series of the Scooby-Doo Series 2 Plymax. We actually did manage to get these sets. We did manage to get some of the Plymax. I will do a full review on this, but I'll tell you what characters I have so far. Basically, I have the whole gang. 
plus Dracula and Wolfman. Right over there is Wolf Dracula, so. Yeah, so if you don't get, like, the Mystery Mansion, the, the, the Adventures with Egypt, like, all these sets here, if you want the villain, you can actually get him in the blind bags. I'm trying to attempt to get that. Yeah, so here is the character we got. This is my favorite character, and surprisingly, he's on the bag. This is the character I like. This is Wolfman. By the way, you can they're actually labeled, so... It tells you what character you have, and here is Wolfman. This is actually, this is sort of like a sneak peek, but this is what one of the characters have. The villain still has these accessory and a ghost card. His accessory is a blue donut, which is kind of odd. Why would they give him a blue donut? Yeah, so that's technically it. Oh yeah, if you want to ask what other characters on here. Yeah, right here is Series 2. Here's a checklist. Yeah, we have Shaggy, Daphne. Dad, I don't want to talk about all the characters, but right now the only characters that I'm missing are the bottom row characters and these two. Yeah, so basically I got the whole I got one wave done and almost the second wave. Yeah, so the next characters I'm probably gonna be going after either the two new characters and probably the rest. Probably that guy next. And probably her. But these two, hopefully I'll try to get a full set this year. It's just I don't want to order any more blind bags. We just ordered $72 worth of blind bags. But hopefully they'll make, hopefully they do show up in source. Yeah, YouTube, I think they did a YouTube, a YouTube channel that they do in the UK. They just recently just got a bunch of blind bags. They're trying to get full, they just have a full set. She's looking, they're looking for that character. Yeah, so that's technically it for the showcase. Yeah, so this is all the sets that released so far. Sorry, I had to move some of the pieces out. But, uh, but yeah, that's the showcase. Hopefully you like it. Hopefully next year, Playable will still keep the Scooby-Doo series coming. It'll be kind of nice because I'm actually suggesting a character for Series 3. Actually... A YouTuber, actually a lot of people wanted to see them make it Series 3. Well, actually, I'm starting to make an um, idea book. Well, that's technically it. So, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully, we'll make another videos right now. Hopefully, we'll try to get the Series 2 completed. Right now, we just have Series 1 completed. And if you want, you can make, if you want, I can make a next showcase for Scooby-Doo's 50th anniversary. So, Hope you have the hope you get the DVD. And if you want, you can actually get all these sets here either in Amazon, eBay, or the official playable store. Uh all, I know all the new sets are all on playable store, including the collectible Scooby-Doo figures, so subscribe.